I'm Kate. I'm Megan. And this is Cooking, Cooking with the, the Bells. Bells. Oh, right. Are you ready for today? I am very ready. All right. So today, I think it's probably the easiest drink I've made on screen. <laughs> We're just going to do cherry limeade. Um, so of course, as always, we'll have the recipe linked down below, but if you want the video of how we make our cherry syrup or our limeade, um, please check out our spare pork ribs video for the cherry syrup and our spatchcock chicken episode for our limeade. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take cherry syrup and I'm gonna take about four of these tablespoons and these are 24 ounce jars. For those of you that are new and haven't seen them yet. And then I'm gonna pull out a couple of cherries because I like a couple of chunks of cherry in mine to eat when I finish my drink. Yes. They're like infused with that limeade. So it's just like a yes. cherry limeade cherry. Okay. Do the same in this jar. Cherries. So exciting. So beautiful. And then I'm gonna make a mess because I always do that. And then I'm just gonna top it off with limeade. As a quick reference, our limeade is about 10 limes squeezed with three quarters cup of sugar. And then this is a two quart pitcher that I just topped with water. Depending on how juicy your limes are. Yes, um, this does make a tartar limeade, but since we're adding the syrups, I kind of want them a little tartar. Thank you. And I just want to point out how pretty these are before you stir them. They're almost layered. Oh, gorgeous. I think they're so pretty. Um, yeah, that's it. Cheers! Cheers. Mm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Just the right amount of tartness to sweetness. Yes, I agree. And we do like ours a little tartar, so if you prefer yours a little sweeter, you'll probably want to put a little more sugar in your limeade or use a little more syrup, depending on what flavor you want more of. That's very true. So, all right. What are we cooking today? We have a different setup today. We do. Kind of throwing me off a little. <laughs> we are using our charcoal grill today. We're doing some drumsticks on it super excited and we're gonna do a couple different variations of drumsticks drumsticks to me i feel like they're so versatile like if you can just get how you cook them down you can season them almost any way you want you really can and you know they can be barbecue like we're gonna do here today they can just be a simple season and let the the drumstick speak for itself and there's also what we're gonna do today is a chili lime. So it pairs perfectly with uh, your Taco Tuesday. You could have some and tacos and some drumsticks. Do you think if people wanted, they could use the same seasoning and apply it to like a whole chicken like we did with our spatch pot chicken oh. and then like smoke or grill a whole chicken? Yes. Right? Like, and then tacos, yeah, you like could pull it, it off. Tacos. Yeah, exactly. Ex Exactly, perfectly. Whoop. Little juicy there. And if you wouldn't mind yes. opening my bag for me, you bet. And then if you could just cut open that one for me, that way I'm not cross contaminating and getting raw chicken juice on everything. You guys know how I feel about that. That was, I think, one of the worst cuts I've done in my life. Thank you so yeah. <laughs> very much. Okay. So we have plenty of drumsticks going on here. I'm just getting them out so that we can get a good seasoning on everything. I'm not gonna bake them on this sheet or anything. Obviously we're gonna put them on the grill. So could you also, if you wanted to just put the drumsticks directly on the grill and put the seasonings on top if you wanted to? That's generally what I do. It is a really windy day though, so I was afraid that they would not, it, the seasoning would not stick on very well. So if you wouldn't mind opening the trash bag for me one more time since we had two of those. 
And since I'm gonna be putting them on the grill, if you wouldn't mind grabbing my seasonings for me. So if you'll start out with paprika everything, just all over. I love paprika. And I feel like paprika is gonna go great with um, our chili lime seasoning as well. So I'm just gonna add that on there. Perfect. And that was probably about two tablespoons. Probably. Four, two, three, four. 10 drumsticks. Yes, and these are pretty large drumsticks as yes. well. And they're all pretty consistent in size, which is what I wanted when grilling. That way I know that they're all gonna be done about the same time. If you would grab some salt and salt everything. Yeah, I'm actually gonna... We are using a pretty coarse salt today. Um, you can, of course, use any kind of salt, but we are just using our um, pink Himalayan salt. Yeah. Um, and so it's, it's fairly coarse, but it's gonna give us a nice, nice salty taste, but um, not all of it's obviously gonna stick on there. So if it looks like we're being pretty generous with it, we yeah. are. Since it's coarse, it kind of falls off quickly. <laughs> and then my hands are clean, so I'm just gonna Put Waste that not, want not. Exactly. <laughs> and then if we could garlic powder them. Yeah, garlic powder on all of them? All of them. Garlic and chili lime is going to go great together as well. And I use probably garlic powder on everything, just like I use paprika yes. on those things. And onion powder. Onion powder and garlic powder just complement each other so well. And we don't like bland food, so. No. And then if you could black pepper everything as well. Yeah. So on half of our drumsticks, we are gonna do a chili lime seasoning. The other half we're gonna leave plain. And after they're almost done, I'm gonna put a little bit of barbecue sauce on some. That way we have a good variety going because um, we are having a little birthday party so everybody can choose kind of what what flavor they want so yeah. if you could chili lime about five of those yeah for sure i'm gonna see yeah okay i have to see how it comes out of the dispenser or i'll overdo it this is a chili lime powder that is typically a lot of people eat it on fruit around here um yeah but we we actually put it on our tacos and our meat to season those as well. Um, but honestly, the you can use them for like just a variety of things. So if you wouldn't mind uh, taking the lid off my charcoal grill there, just gonna start by, let me see which ones are chili lime. There we go. Okay, so it's these, these three, three and, and these one. two. Okay, perfect. It's actually carried over. Oh, thank you so much. And today we have our grill set up for indirect grilling. So basically coals are on one half of the grill. And that's just so if we need some more heat, we can put something directly over the fire, but we can also kind of pull stuff off from directly over the fire to keep the outsides from charring too much. And then I'm just gonna, since the paprika and the chili powder are looking a little little the same. I'm, I separated those out to where I could keep an eye on them because barbecue sauce and chili lime powder probably won't go super great together. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove my gloves now that we are done dealing with the raw chicken. Beautiful. And we're just going to keep an eye on them depending on how hot you keep your grill is going to depend on how long they need to be on there. But of course, use the thermometer and temp them at, uh, you want 165. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Perfect. And we will check on them probably in about, I'd say 10, 15 minutes for sure. And of course, be careful because your grill is going to get really hot on the top. So use yes. uh, gloves if you need to. Well, I guess we'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye.
we're back with our drama sticks. It's probably been about 30 minutes when we yeah. put the drumsticks on the grill. We have a thermometer on our grill. It was reading about 375. Um, and then as our coals kind of died down a little bit, we actually averaged out closer to 300 to 325. But, like always, make sure you get your instant read thermometer. Yes. Especially with chicken. And make sure the chicken reads 165. Just whenever you temp it, you want to go in the thickest part of your meat and don't hit the bone. Because the bones will always temp really high. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull some off and have a taste test. We're not going to barbecue sauce ours today because we are going to save these for tomorrow for our barbecue. This guy right here. All right, so let's just have a quick taste test and then we'll go ahead and pull those off and get them cooled down and ready for tomorrow. I'm excited. Me too. And you can like see the juice coming off of these. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. I love that we keep the flavoring fairly simple on these just because you get so much flavor from the charcoal smoke that it really lets that and the chicken shine it and really, enhance it. Yeah, I would agree with that for sure. Mm -hmm. They're so juicy. Mm -hmm. mm. They're juicy, they're seasoned well. They just have a little bit of crispness to the skin. I agree. Mm. I'm gonna put it down before I eat a whole drumstick over here. Me too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really, I think that's it for today's yeah. recipe. Have grilled chicken drumsticks in all of their glory. Simple, but delicious. Yes. Like always, if you liked this video, if we maybe taught you something in all of our craziness, or, you know, if you just had a good laugh while watching, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button down below, we'd really appreciate it. And if you want to see more from us, think about subscribing down below also. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. We appreciate it. And like always, these recipes will be in printable form on our website, and that link will be below as well. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.